found in his own home on Jeanette Street. State police are investigating the murder of Nathaniel Smith. Meanwhile, people around here are looking over their shoulders. I'm going to think twice now to file it. My granddaughter uh, run around the block. Officials say these are still active investigations, and if you have any information about any of these incidents, please contact police. In Magnolia, Jenna Jordan, NBC6 News. Safety matters and police say a man tried to rob employees at a popular home store in Texarkana, Texas last night. But in the end, the employees got the upper hand. NBC6's Heather Wright reports. It was after closing time at Ellis Pottery on Sunday night when police say this man, 25-year-old Brandon Staggs, snuck into the store through an unlocked door. I think the employees actually saw him um, inside the store through their um, uh, surveillance. Uh, system there, their, cam their camera system, uh, so they knew he was coming. Authorities say Staggs, armed with a shotgun, confronted the two employees who were in an office and demanded money. At some point, there was a, a scuffle between the two employees and the man. Police add one of the employees, a concealed handgun license holder, even fired two shots from his handgun at one point. No one was hit by the bullets. After the two employees were able to overpower Stags, one of them held him down while the other went and ran and called 911 at that point. Investigators have also arrested 34 year old Tony Works of Maud. Authorities say she was driving the getaway car. Both are charged with aggravated robbery. Police say they do tend to see more crime this time of year, typically burglaries and theft, though. They urge folks to just be vigilant, keep valuables out of sight, and doors locked. Heather Wright, NBC6 News. And bond has been set at $100,000 each.